Virg, Virg, the sound box is being noisy. Looks like the advanced team has words for us. Hey, this is the bus. How are things over there? Oh, no. Did they murk my team rocket? Oh, my God. Is that a whistle? It's her. The wretch is here. Oh After all this time, it's been through the rest of our town. Oh, he's about to lose his nuggets. Oh, my God. Calm down, Sinclair. What do you mean by whistles? And who is this wretched woman? She's waiting for me. Oh, that, that was a message calling for me. The smoke that was faintly visible through the bus window covered the whole town. What a mess this is, huh? By the way, don't you hear a familiar song from somewhere? Oh, yeah. I know this one. I used to hear this tune an awful lot in snowy days. They played it a bunch during wartime to raise our spirits. Did the exact opposite for me. Right, that day... It was snowy like this, and that song was playing. It was it was the mall. I was trapped in there for, for days. I, I couldn't get my PS5. They were always out of stock. The trees before us were decorated with grim ornaments. All sorts of internal organs and mechanical parts were hung from the branches, as if someone put people's innards on full display. Man, it is Merry Christmas crisis. time, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Look at Sinclair is about to just flip out. Look at that. My name is Krober. I'm a humanitarian who loves purity and the one who grips the hammer. Oh. Yes, <laughs> yes the one who grips. <laughs> Gamer Faust is Krober, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. I know nothing about you aside from being a gamer. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to get here, but you're trespassing on private property. As you can see, this hallowed ground is going under our nailing judgment. I hope you like the decorations I set up. Let's just say that you got lost. Turn back now and a fine will be all you have to pay. Romer is the sweatiest gamer. I can feel the neck beard from here. The fedora power is just overwhelming. I'm feeling generous. Today is the nativity, after all. Oh, before that is Guido there. Oh, hello, Nurse Salt. How you doing? Here I stand. <laughs> Good. Just in case, do you see any heretics over there? The massive man named Guido who responded to her turns to us. He intently stares into each of us until his eyes fall upon me. He gazes at me for a very long time. Man, is this a commentary on religion? Oh no. <laughs> Although he was wearing a mask, those eyes of his... They froze us completely still as if his glare nailed us to the ground. Oh no. Oh no, they can do that? Seen in pure one and their followers. I can smell your guild tags from here. And with them, the child you spoke of. <laughs> really? My Sinclair is back? Come see me, Sinclair. I'll be waiting at that familiar spot. Cromer! <laughs> Sinclair's about to fly off the handle, man. Somebody somebody give him a Snickers or something. Uh, oh, baby! Alright. Do you want to get the beats heartily? Well, too bad. You're going to. Sinclair freaks out and takes like a ton of. Oh, man. That's not good. Mega turbo staggered. I'm gonna hit you with an apple. Or whatever that was. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. And he's off. Bye bye. That wasn't. That was a tough opponent. We should move before they come back to their senses. What a shameful thing to say. A soldier does not retreat before the enemy when victory is in sight. No. Okay. We will fall back. 
Sinclair, do you know what Cromer, what that Cromer meant by that familiar spot? C Con That's well. Sinclair shook. He was seemingly overwhelmed with dread. Tell us what you know, and you'll prevent half the deaths we might suffer. And really, that's what I'm concerned about because I don't want to have to bring you people, but it hurts. You don't understand how bad it hurts. In my house, that that's where Chroma must be. Oh boy, she's a friend of yours? Whatever's going on, I sure hope you can talk it out. She's not my friend. Chroma killed my family. Uh-oh. My bad. Oops! My bad, MB. A prosthetic head hanging from a tree slowly turned to face us. Oh, that's not good. Why did you return? Holy night. It's clearer than ever now. Prosthetic body parts are heresy to them. Our town. Our town was called the holy site of Nest K's prosthetic industry. Most of the residents worked in manufacturing high-end prosthetic components. So was your family. Yeah, my father was the owner of a fledgling prosthetics company, too. Manager, I have a question if it's alright with you. Sure, what is it, buddy? Well, how does it feel? Feel? Yeah. I mean, how does it feel to have a prosthetic replacement for your head? Um, well, that's... Oh, it's, um... I'm not trying to argue with any... You with Argue with you or anything. Uh, that that is probably rude of me. I apologize. No need. It's all right. The other sinners were a billion times ruder to me with their daily interactions. Anyway, <laughs> I'm afraid I can't answer that. I don't remember a single thing about my life before this clock. My family said it's no different from wearing a hat or a watch. But I just couldn't picture it. With well, no matter how I approached it. And now, I'm the only survivor thanks to that. I'm sure the procedure seemed terrifying at such a young age. You don't have to feel guilty about that. That's not it. It's nothing like that. I'm afraid I'm not as innocent as you might think, Dante. What? Our innocent bean is not innocent? Nagel und Hammer has always been devoted to scrutinizing the idea of humanity. Some criticized prosthetic use as they believed the pain is a necessary component of the human experience. However, it never escalated to the extent of direct action that we are witnessing now. I've been meaning to ask, how do you know so much about Encorp? I was once employed by Encorp. Oh! What? You used to work with those people? That explains some things. Why didn't you tell us that earlier? You carrying one of those freaky weapons, then? Uh, am I obligated to elaborate? What the hell? Why don't you exp Why don't you explain what makes you different from those nutters, then? Listen, mate. As much as I like to call our death manager Clockface, I don't think they deserve by any means to be on the stake or chopping block. Aw, Heathcliff does care about us in a very strange way. <laughs> Are you gonna up and butcher all the town folk if your manager just says so? Yeah. As we can see, enhance. Zoom and enhance. It is quite broad. He has got he's got the nice angled shoulders, good for deflecting blows. He's got that strong grip. He's got them beefy arms. You know, he's got the nice vest there. He's got, you know, look at look at this. He's made of beef. He is made of beefcake. I've been thinking, which is a real strain for me, on whether the manager Dante should be seen as a human. Well, there's only one of us who know about our manager's Bud's past. And she does not want to give out the secrets. That's confidential information. Why, though? Its access is restricted to the highest security level, which you have? Dante, I, I'd like to apologize in advance. As you know, I'm not as experienced with fighting like the others. Listen, we just give you some rockets. You're, you're, you're a baller. Don't worry about it. Our foes might jab me in the heart over and over for that. Will you bear that for me? Don't worry, buddy. We got, got you, fam. Sinclair being the most precious of beans. The most precious of beans. Look at him being, beaning it up. He's beaning it up. He's a can of beans. He's balling, but he's also balling. <laughs> 
Are you scared, Sinclair? Are you scared, buddy? <gasps> Sinclair suddenly turned around and gave me a startled look. Huh? Did I say something weird? Daniel. No, it's oh, just I was reminded of a friend who asked me the same question. Sinclair's home was the largest mansion in the neighborhood, standing at the innermost part of town. Well, at least it was. Now it's on fire. Sinclair's eyes drifted to a corner of the yard. The, the, the graves they dug up. Uh-oh. Following his gaze, I could see three graves that were violated. Sinclair's expression alone was enough for me and all the other sinners to guess who they were for. Oh, there it is. It's whistling. <laughs> you mean, it's just too funny when you think about it. I put so much effort into burying bodies that can't even rot, am I right? Romer! I'm sure you'll find them around somewhere if you look hard enough. I do remember nailing those three. Be a good boy, and I might just tell you where they are. Well, Sinclair, you've grown a spine coming all the way here. Enough of one to look at a few dead bodies too, right? Ah, Sinclair's got some bodies. Looking for the other filthy ratlets that snuck in here. No, did, did they nail Team Rocket to the floor? Come on, man. I liked Team Rocket. Okay, okay, watch closely. I'll turn on the lights. So open your eyes wide. Oh, no, they got James. Ta-da. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> Dying noises. In his current state, it will take around two days for him to completely die. And the pole piercing through him will only amplify his suffering. Jeez, thanks, Faust. Then... Manager, I happen to know of a method to end a life with as little pain as possible. May I ask you to give me the order? I looked to both Gregor and Ishmael. They gazed back at me and, as if in acknowledgement, dropped their heads low and bit their lips. Rest in peace. The collar of Otis's clothes brushed against the wind. Then silence. And it's then broke by Cromer's roaring laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this nerd. Huh. 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 At the same time, I could hear something else break. Brings you back, doesn't it, Sinclair? Your face back then was real priceless. Cromer. You have to die. Yeah, I think that's the right way. You'll die by my... He was interrupted by the sound of a nail dragging across the floor. It's Guido. Oh, he's back. Since the reunion is over, I'll be heading back. Grummer turns around and walks in the burning mansion. Roma! Get back here. I'll... I swear you. I'll grab you with my hand and... Nope, Sinclair. It's always been the other way around. I'm the one who grips. It's literally my title. I'm the one who grips. Yeah, see? It's in her title. She has the title of gripping. She'd be gripping, yo. Fire time. Eat bullets. Oh, the whistling. Oh, there goes the... Oh my god, minus 30. Ooh, that was close. Eat tree, you ass wagon. I have a tree axe. Wow. Wow. Oof. Rupture count 12. Ow. Oh my god. Oh no. I just got to stop it. <laughs> I must spam the ego. <laughs> Boom! Eat Yuri! And dead. Did it! Eight rounds. Perfect. <laughs> Sinclair, come down, buddy! Hey, wait! Sinclair leapt for the fourth to chase Cromer before anyone could stop him. Might have. <laughs> Sinclair might have an Angie. However, he's blocked by the remaining Encorp Inquisitors. In response, he swings his weapon with a tremendous force. I never thought he could exert crushing the head of the one who grabbed him. Whoa! 
The Inquisitor collapsed to the ground before even a gasp could escape their mouth. Did you just hulk out? Sinclair would normally keep to the back of our group. This was the first time I saw him charge in unprompted like that. A singular Angie. Sinclair was repeatedly jabbing his spear into a dead Inquisitor. The corpse was mangled beyond recognition, its blood and organs spilling all over the floor. I'll kill them all! I knew stopping him was the right thing to do, but no one dared to step in. It was evident that it was too he was too blinded by ire to listen to us. I know it's the way most simple to bring him back to senses. Pray the tale! How dost thou feel now? Wake up! The meeting Wake shall up. continue until thine SP improves. <laughs> oh, Sinclair's just crying now. Come on, bitch, I guess so. I'll get her for this. Oh, oh vibrating. I'll go to my home and secure that bitch. I'll secure her with a stake. And then. Sinclair's being a precious bean. Pet pets for Sinclair. Oh, there you go, buddy. After a while of sniffling, Sinclair finally seemed to calm down as he put his hand to his face and started muttering. I lost everything overnight. Back then, they didn't parade their noodle and hammer around, name around. We didn't see large groups like that in the open. But at some point, people calling themselves hammers started showing up in town, one by one, and... It's okay, kiddo. No need to push yourself. Rodia gently patted him on the back. There you go, buddy. I still think that sometimes. This is all just a bad dream, and I'm having trouble waking up. It always comes every morning before I open my eyes. Maybe this time I'll wake up and see my familiar ceiling. Just maybe. After he said that, he broke into tears. It only made sense to wait for him to settle down. We entered the charred mansion, and Sinclair led us to the basement. When he opened the door, a long underpass leading to an unknown destination was revealed to us. Sinclair, was your house just built on top of El Corp's ruins? To think there'd be a tunnel down here. Mama. So, if my guess is right, then this passage should lead to the branch facility. Why are you keeping this shifty shaft in your basement? It wasn't there before. What? What? Then how'd you know we ought to go to the basement? It's like how magnetic fields draw a compass needle to the northwards. I was brought here by intuition. Isn't that what it is? You're bringing us along to use the sensors for the bows. Oh, he figured it out. They're here. They were bringing. Oh, their trauma leads us to the bows. Sinclair's mad. Sinclair quietly looked at Faust. That or the only way we can get the bows is if we pour on some serious trauma. We should move once we are ready. Uh, don't give me that look, Dante. I am simply not in the position to comment on it. Are you Faust? Are you really? 